kids, you, you just have it all handed to you. And, and let me just tell you something. It's all about kittens. Kittens, kittens. Oh, I want a kitten. Kitten, so sweet. Oh, please, let me get a little ball of fuzz, little kitten. What about the older guys? What about them? Well, let me tell you something, youngster. You better go out there and catify the world. Now, get out of here. Yesterday, I went to this wonderful woman's house, uh, Janet. Hi, Janet. Uh, she's fantastic. She's a great artist, and she's also uh, a caretaker for many elderly and, and special needs cats and dogs. I, it made me want to talk to you a little bit today about the benefits of adopting an older cat slash dog slash pony slash bunny, whatever. First of all, they demand less and they give more. That I can tell you by my experience and maybe my friend Janet and anybody else who specializes in older animals, uh, they can tell you, man, these guys are grateful. You will find that the love that you get from an older animal is just unparalleled. And I'm not just saying this, guys. I am not just saying this because I want you to go out there and be just like my friend Janet yesterday and take the hard to place guys, take the ones that are older, take the ones that may have higher vet bills. Yeah, I mean, I get it. It might be an inconvenience, and, and it also psychologically may be very tough for you. But that said, the payback is absolutely immense. Secondly, by and large, they tend to be less willfully destructive, uh, less in the way of marking, or if they don't get their way, they pee somewhere, they, they can scratch up everything. Now, yeah, of course, they may have uh, physical problems that we see manifested in older cats, but in terms of behavioral problems, I see a lot less when it comes to older versus kittens, uh, teenagers, and middle age. So let's talk about older cats and your household. Now, if you work a lot, you don't really want a kitten in your house or, or a teenager. They are going to be demanding of you. You know, you've seen me do a lot of videos on, uh, on play therapy, on getting energy out of cats. You know, a nine-year-old, ten-year-old cat, you don't really have to worry that much about constantly entertaining them. Of course, we want to keep them mentally stimulated and physically stimulated as well, but that doesn't mean they demand it the way younger cats do. Once you get to a certain age, it is about the path of least resistance, and that makes for a much calmer house for the most part, because instead of hunt, catch, kill, eat, groom, and sleep, it's like watch someone else hunt and catch and kill, and then you can eat and groom and sleep. That is the life of an older cat. That's like what cat retirement is all about. Another advantage to an older animal in your home, when you get an older cat, a senior cat, you know what you're getting. You know if they have a history with other cats or dogs. You know how tolerant they are of children, for instance. You know how they'll integrate into your house or not integrate. When you get a kitten, you're not sure what you're getting in terms of the personality. So what you see is kind of what you get as opposed to a much younger cat. If I were an eight, nine year old cat sitting in your house, the last thing that I would want, the last thing would be a kitten that ball of energy, and we're not just talking kitten, we're talking about up to about a year and a half old, that energy level will just drive uh, a middle-aged or senior cat to distraction. So why not set them up with someone of their own age? We do have a problem in terms of housing older animals uh, in this world. I mean, we've, we've got animals that are doing behaviorally and physically less well the longer they stay in the shelter, and with older age, we see uh, less of an ability to fight things off like that. Plus, they're less popular. They're, they're not going to get adopted as fast. So you have uh, open admission shelters that are unfortunately killing these cats. And you've got selective admission shelters that are saying, yeah, you know, we really can't do much with your 12 year old because I don't know if we're ever gonna be able to get him out of here. That's the reality of the situation, folks. We did touch on this a little bit. Is there a quote unquote downside? If you are adopting an older animal, you should be uh, you know, able to take care of that cat, dog, or whomever. And uh, that means that the vet bills will be higher. You do have to commit to bringing your, your senior cat in for an annual wellness exam. Now, I know I can get into your head when it comes to your psyche. If you had a kitten sitting here or a teenager cat, and an older cat and you say, I'm going to take the kitten. Why is it that you take that kitten? Well, first of all, you don't want to be faced with that animal's mortality. You, do, you just don't want to give your heart to an animal that you might lose sooner than later. 
I get that. But again, we're talking about expanding out our circle of compassion. The second thing is people are under the mistaken notion that bringing in a kitten into a home with existing animals will be easier. There is no hard and fast about that because they will be teenagers soon enough. They're going to cause havoc in your home and, and you're, you're, you're going to have an easier time, in my opinion and in my experience, with an older cat versus a younger cat. And the other thing is, uh, you, you think that you might be able to mold them into the shape that you would like them to be, as opposed to the concept of teaching an old cat or an old dog new tricks. We all know that that's not the case. Just because a cat or a dog or anybody else has certain set routines doesn't mean we can't change them over time. But in the meantime, can we look past the cute cuddly kittens? Again, you know, I've talked about this a lot, the, the concept of expanding your circle of compassion, about saying, well, if I love this cute little cuddly kitten, do I love this eight-year-old sitting here in the cage next to the cuddly kitten? There are so many advantages to bringing home an older cat. Now, let me just make one more uh, little caveat here. Just because I'm singing the praises of older animals today, does not mean I'm telling you not to take home the kittens and the teenagers. They all need homes, folks. They all need homes. I think in a, in, a, in a very big sense, though, if there's an older animal sitting in a shelter or a rescue that you know of, they need that home a little bit worse right about now. Hey, by the way, people are still asking me the supermarket questions. They're asking me very simple behavioral questions that guess what? I've already addressed on this very show on Cat Mojo. If you will just take a look back over uh, old episodes, you'll see that I touch on a lot of the questions that you guys might have. Uh, for instance, uh, about catifying your home, the confident wear. If you talk about introducing cat to cat, plenty of things that, that you might be having trouble with I've already addressed. So make sure that if you find a question on Twitter or Facebook from somebody else who's getting really frustrated, guide them back to old episodes of Cat Mojo and maybe we'll help keep those cats in homes. And by the way, if there is a supermarket question that, that I haven't answered yet, well then by all means, please don't hit me up in the supermarket. Hit me up at hashtag Team Cat Mojo and that's that. All right, folks, until the next time, we speak, which will be, oh, in uh, just about a week's time. Be good to yourselves, be good to the animals in your lives, and adopt yourself an older cat slash dog slash pony slash bunny slash something today, okay? All right, until next time, all light, all love, all mojo to you. Mm, love you guys. You're a bad cat. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm just misunderstood. Meow.